Hey, hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sagar Pichapati and in this video I will be talking about one of the most interview questions of Python. So before the video, I would like to introduce my channel Geek Coders. Here I upload videos on Azure Data Factory, Azure Data Big, SQL, Python and so on. So if you are liking my content, you can subscribe to my channel and share with your friends so that everyone will get benefited. So let, let's go back to my uh, Python compiler. Okay, and here I have written the question that is check if a string is palindrome or not. And we have to write it down using a Python language. So first I will tell you what this palindrome means. Let's say we have one, st one string. Let's say my name Sagar. Okay, so first what we need to do, we need to find out the reverse of this string so my the the reverse of my name is r a g a s r g a s now we will check whether this string the original string is equal to the opposite string or not if it is equal it means it is a palindrome so for an example if i write down str is equal to a b b a okay and if i find out the reverse of it it is equal to the is it it is equal to the original string so it means this a b b a is the palindrome okay so just remove everything over here and i will define one function and i will give the name is underscore underscore palindrome and here i will pass one st one is one uh, uh, variable let's say str okay and here i will write down len underscore str and I will use len of str. It means I am finding out the length of the string. Then what would I do? I would uh, initialize one variable. Let's say c is equal to one. I will let you know what does it mean. So make it zero. And then I start one of the one of the loop. So for i in a range of len of what not len because since we have already uh, find we have already find out uh, the length of the string so i will use len underscore str okay and then what i would do i will check if str of i is equal to is equal to str of what len underscore str minus i minus one and then and then if it is matching, I can write here continue or pass. So right now I am passing, I am writing here continue. And else I will update the value of C to 1 and I will break it. Okay. And at last what I will do, I will write C is equal to is equal to 0. And that's it. And just I, now I will just call this function. And here I will pass my name. Let's run it. It is false because this saga is not a palindrome. Okay, we have seen. So now I will write a b b a. It will return two. If I write down here c, it will return two. Right? If I write down one more c, it will return two. If I write down one d over here, it will return false. Okay. So see now what is happening, I will tell you. So let's say I have a string of a, b, b, a. If you can see here, I am finding out the length of the string. So right now the length of the string is four. And here I am writing down for i in range of length of str, which is, which is four. Okay, it is checking, it is checking a, no? It starts from 0, so str of 0 is equal to is a is equal to is equal to str of len of. So len is what? 4 minus i means 0 minus 1. So it, it is equal to 3, right? So 3 means 0, 1, 2, 3. So it is checking whether a is, is equal to a or not. It is. That's it. Now it will go to b. Okay, now it will go to B. Oh, sorry, I have to use here len of str by 2. Okay, and now it is checking, now it is checking whether, whether the second element B 
is equal to b or not so here uh, in in the second iteration uh, uh, one will come right so the str of one is equal to b and it will check whether str of str of what uh, uh, four minus one minus one right so which is equal to two so it will again give us two so it is checking whether b is equal to b or not so it is two so it it continues and it will it will it ends the loop because i am finding out till zero one two okay and suppose if it is c here okay then it will check the c part the c is is, is it is common right so it will not check because it is the, it is the odd number so it comes over here also it comes over here also that's why we can neglect this now if it is c here then it will check till c part to this c and return the result okay so let me remove all this so this is the one way to find out whether the string is palindrome or not so there is a shortcut there's a shortcut what we can do what we can do we can uh, write down like this print print str of min uh, colon colon minus one it means it was the string okay and i can write down str and here i will pass the value of str that is let's say my name and let me comment it down and now if i run this it again prints false okay but if i put it over here a b c sorry a b b a then it should print here too okay so what does is str a uh, column column minus means it returns it will print it will print the reverse of the string it is the predefined uh, thing even though you have, we have a function of reverse also in a string you can use that also but uh, for you for the easier purpose i have written this this is this is the uh, application of the slicing we can say okay if you see i have printed str of column column minus one it printed a b b a so you cannot understand with this example so let me write down my name and then we will understand see it returns r a g a s which is the reverse of the my name which is the original string right and we are checking whether it is equal to the original string or not if it is then it will return to if it is not then it returns false so this is the two methods so don't go don't go through with the uh, with the predefined function because in interview they will not ask you the predefined thing you have to be good in the uh, algorithm part or coding part so prefer this method maybe there is a many other method also you can use it but for this video i have uh, used this method and maybe in future future i will uh, i will i will uh, introduce a new concept over here to solve this problem so i hope you have understood this concept if you do do like and share with your friends so that everyone will get benefited uh, thank you